Hey, bro, what you doing? Oh, oh, I'm just building a snowman like we used to do when we were kids. Ugh, I don't remember building a snowman being this dangerous. I like it. Can I help? Sure, here's the shovel. Oh, oh, uh. Wee, wee, wee. Oh, whoa, bro. That's the best snowman I've ever seen. Ta-da! <laughs> I know! Look, I tried to make him super realistic. See? He's even got armpit hair. <laughs> Ugh, bro, he looks like a homeless snowman. I believe the word you're searching for is houseless political, political correctness. correctness. Come on, bro. He's standing right there. <laughs> Red Dog, are you barking at him because he's homeless? Houseless. Houseless. Rad Dog, are you being racist against snowmen? Oh. <gasps> hey! Don't you backtalk me when I'm talking to you! <laughs> I don't believe this! The silent treatment! Real mature! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Rad Dog, I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Rad Dog, please stop! It hurts! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hold up just one second. Come on, guys, stop fighting. Look at all this wonderful snow we have out here. We should be having fun. <laughs> Barry Brosef in the snow? What a harmless winter activity. Bro, I don't think Rad Dog means that as a harmless activity. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get going before the snow melts. We're losing daylight. Oh yeah, you're right. We are losing daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Great digging, Rad Dog. <laughs> kind of tickles. This is the most fun I've had since we buried Grandpa. Oh yeah, when we buried him in the sand at the beach. Yeah, exactly. Woo. Now it's really starting to tickle. That's your limbs going now. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> You're totally buried now! I'm kind of bored of this. I'm gonna go play Five Nights at Freddy's. I wanna play! Bro? Bro? Uh, can you help me out of this? Don't leave me alone out here! Well, at least got you, Rad Dog. Rad Dog? Rad Dog? Why does everyone always leave me? Even my parents left me. <laughs> it was when I was three and they went to Target for a whole hour. You're such a good listener, Mr. Snowman. Oh, look, it's Elsa and Barbie legs. <laughs> I oh, no, I have to sneeze and I can't cover my mouth because my arms are stuck. Mr. Snowman, what do I do? That's terrible advice! Ah. 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 I feel much better. Ugh. Sorry, Mr. Snowman. I didn't mean to get my radioactive boogers on you. Oh. What's happening? I think the radioactive boogers are making you transform! Mr. Snowman, you don't look too good, Mr. Snowman. Mr. Snowman, why aren't you answering? Who? <gasps> ah! What the heck is that? Ah! I'm stuck in the snow and I can't move! Ah! Well, this is the best game I've played all year. I wonder how Brosif's doing out in the snow. Ah! Someone help me! Bro! Red Dog! Dang it, I lost. What's that screaming? I better go check it out. What is it, bro? Ah! What the heck is that? How do I help? Get your shovel and get me out of here! Hurry, bro! He looks really mad! Hurry! Ah! Oh! I think I'm coming loose! Let's get out of here! Ah! 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 Look! <laughs> 
Rad dog? <laughs> Hurry, bro! Come on! We gotta come up with a plan! Plan? What do we do? <laughs> Rad dog! You're a genius! Perfect! We'll use the blow dryer to melt him away. Rad dog, blow dryer. Locked and loaded. Enough, bro. What are we gonna do? I don't know. <gasps> Wait, let's use our smart home assistant Siri to turn up the thermostat to 90 degrees. <laughs> You're kind of scaring me, bro. But that's a great idea. Oh, Siri. Yes, is that you, Brody Abraham Smith? Social security number. No, Siri, that's private information. I need you to turn the thermostat up to 90 degrees and stat. Thermostat to 90 degrees. Ouch, that was my central processor shutting. Oh no, bro, she's shutting down. It didn't work. Red Dog? Where's Red Dog? We need his brilliant mind. It's okay, bro. You got another brilliant mind right here. I'll come up with a plan. We're doomed! No, bro. I actually have a good plan. I'll use a metaphor to describe it. So, so far, we've been using a stick to threaten the snowman. What we need to do is offer him a carrot. Oh! That doesn't make sense, bro. Think about it, bro. A stick is like an aggressive tool that you hit someone with, like a blow dryer or the thermostat. And the carrot is something that you offer to someone and they think that they like it. <gasps> like the freezer! He likes the freezer! To the freezer! Why would we use the freezer? Haha! <laughs> the freezer! Rad dog? Rad dog! <laughs> it looks like he had the same idea as you! Dang it! Why does he gotta be the genius? <gasps> the freezer is full! <gasps> no! Oh! We do have a second freezer! See? It's empty! <laughs> Mom and Dad keep forgetting to buy groceries. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Me too. What's that sound? I think it's the monster! Hurry! We gotta lure him into the fridge. Oh, monster! If I'm being honest, you're looking a little... melty. Check this out! But that's not something you need to worry about anymore! Introducing the Frigid Air 3000! Step right up, Mr. Snow Monster. It's time for your cold spa treatment. Yep, that's cold. That's right, come on. I think you bought it, bro. I'm gonna close the door right over there. Huh. Yeah, that's it, buddy. Go relax. <laughs> yes, we did it, high five. Yes, yeah. Now all we have to do is never open our freezer again. Well, that was a crazy adventure, bro. What'd you learn from it? Well, today, I learned that I need to take better care of my bro. It probably wasn't a good idea to just leave him outside in the snow. And I learned if you stay in the snow for two hours, you get frostbite on your bum. <laughs> and I just realized I'm really hungry. Oh, look, a fridge. No! Ah!